what's up guys welcome back to the channel so as you could probably tell by the look of my hair i have only just woke up i've actually just got out of bed today we're filming a video to help you up with your perm because even though i have done a video in the past because i've got a bigger following now since that video i'm going to refilm one saying how to wash your hair how to style it and yeah it should help a lot of you even though my perm's coming to its end and i need to get a reperm um it will still help you out i'll show you how i wash my hair how I put some hair mousse in so you know how to style it properly and yeah hopefully you get some tips and tricks that you didn't know okay guys so the first thing I do is obviously get into the shower and when I'm in the shower I do my body wash which I'm obviously not going to show but after that I get my shampoo and conditioner out I either use the Tresemme or Herbal Essences the reason for this is because I just it leaves my hair really nice and soft and I just like that sort of type of style today I use the Tresemme one uh, you put some shampoo in your hand as normal and when you put it into your hair, make sure you use the scrunch technique, and that is so vital for your perm. Like, if you do the scrunch technique, your part of your perm will probably last longer, and not only that, your curls will look bouncy. After doing that, wash it out, and when you wash the shampoo out, make sure you do the scrunch as well. The scrunch is, like I said, so vital. If you do it throughout the whole shower process, and you get used to doing it all the time, your, your perm will just look so much neater. When you've washed it out using the scrunch technique, that's when you get your conditioner, Tresemate all the herb essences, like I said, and do the scrunch technique again. Honestly, just do the scrunch technique. Make sure it gets every part of your perm, every inch and corner of your hair. And then, when you wash it out, yes, again, do the scrunch. Can't explain it enough. Just always, always scrunch it. When you've washed that out, another thing. Again, go out of your shower with your towel and do the same thing to that. And don't make it fully dry. I'm telling you, don't make it fully dry. Your hair mousse, which I'll explain which one I use in a minute, your hair mousse will go in so much more natural if your hair's a little bit damp at the time. If it's fully dry, it's so much harder just to get the style you want because it's fully dried as it is. So yeah, keep it a little bit damp, and when it's damp, add your hair mousse in, and trust me, it'll look 100% better. When adding the hair mousse in, you want to scrunch it in, like I said before, just scrunch it in slowly, then after, make it the style you want, straight away. So scrunch it in as soon as it's fully in, off of your hands. Make it the style you want, wait 15 to 25 minutes, wait till it's crispy. It should be crispy about 15 to 25 minutes later. And that's where you can run your hands through a little bit. If you run your hands through too much, you're going to take all the hair mousse back out if you run your hands through too much. Just do it a little bit and yeah, it should stay like that for the rest of the day. If it doesn't because your hair is too soft or too hard or whatever, use hairspray. You can use hairspray after the hair mousse and it should keep your hair still all day long. Now, the hair mousse I actually use is Tresemme 3 Hold, which is an orange and black bottle. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below of all the products I use so that you guys that ask questions all the time and what I use, you can have a look and you can buy it if you want it because trust me, it, they are good products. Now, this is going from a hair vlog to just a daily vlog. <laughs> um, me and Millie order Domino's because we are so hungry. Um, and the bad thing is my mum's cooking a roast which is ready in 40 minutes because she's been cooking it since like this morning. Oh well. This is what it looks like two minutes after. Um, I'm going to wait about half an hour, about well, 15, 25 minutes, and then I'll brush it out with my fingers and I'll show you what it looks like then. But yeah, the reason it's wet right now is obviously the mousse makes it wet and I kept my hair damp for the mousse. So after eating just a Domino's pizza, I have now got a full-on roast, which Millie is stealing some potatoes <laughs> and meat because she wants, she likes that you the can most. have some of this, mate. Yeah, oh, I love gammon. Give me some. Yeah, you can have my gammon if I take some of your beef, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's actually been about half an hour since I put the mousse into my hair. And like I said before, when you go to remove it, don't brush it out too much, or else you have none left. So obviously my hair is crispy right now, as you can see. Um, I'm going to do sort of a comb motion with my hand and just brush it out a little bit, not too much. So there you go, guys. That's what I do when I have a full-on perm. The last step is to actually put some hairspray in. I do use hairspray now and again. It depends what the weather's like. So if it is very windy, I will always put hairspray in so it keeps my hair straight. Oh, not straight. Keeps it in place. But this mousse is enough to keep it in place as long as it's not really windy. So I'm actually also going to do my skincare routine for you as well. Um, this is because like I'm actually getting quite clear skin on the face, um, but. Not working on my chest at the minute, but I have got something for my chest, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So obviously I should have shaved, um, but I can't be asked. So yeah, 
this is what I'm using. Oh, don't be blurry. It's L'Oreal, so it's a L'Oreal Men Expert. Um, it's a moisturiser basically, but it's called Hydra Energetic, and uh, basically it gives it's anti fatigue. Um, sort of. It says here that it fixes your dullness, your dark circles from like when you sleep, your tightness, loss of firmness and roughness. So the reason I'm using it is because, like I said, I get a lot of spots recently like on my face. Luckily, I've been using this for about two weeks and it, day in, day out, like morning and afternoon. And yeah, it seems to be clearing up my face. Obviously, I get here and there, the occasional spots. But other than that, I'm really happy with like the the finishing product of this like using it every day it's making my face so much better so me and Millie actually woke up quite late uh, oh by the way this has a really nice smell as well I actually apply quite a lot because I also get blackheads on the nose um, so all of my blackheads have gone re really like I'm getting less and less from using this so yeah if you suffer from blackheads get this stuff it is amazing but yeah like I was saying me and Millie actually woke up really late this morning I woke up about half six because that I don't know, I just woke up at half six. And then we fell back asleep because Millie didn't want to wake up. And we went to sleep till half eleven, I think we woke up. Um, which, yeah, is quite long. I shouldn't have done my hair. But hey, video purposes. Um, yeah, no, literally, we woke up so early. And then all of a sudden, we just fell back asleep because Millie didn't want to stay awake. So we went to sleep. Next thing you know, honestly, it felt like two minutes. Millie wakes me up and says at half eleven, which is ridiculous. So when you're doing this, usually you have two hands, but because my hair's like got some mousse in it and some bit of hairspray. Actually, no, I haven't put hairspray in. It's just got mousse in it. It stays in place. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it, it does find it hard to actually go back to normal. So yeah, it's very. It's got a very strong manly smell to it as well, which is great. But yeah, no, it smells really nice. I love this thing. Always, always use it. Always. Okay, so the reason I'm actually top this is video is because I knew I was going to do this and I don't like it getting like attached to stuff. So I'm recently using bio oil, um, this one to be exact. So it's like the actual make of bio oil. But um, I've been using this day in, day out exactly when I started that about two weeks ago. And I basically plop a lot on my chest and it actually goes down to about here where that mole is. Um, I've got a lot of, basically when I was young I used to get very bad spots on my chest. And when I'd pop them and they'd scab, I'd pick the scab. So I'm, I was really stupid and I've left myself with so many little white indents and scars. Um, but yeah, bio oil, if you didn't know, is very good at getting rid of like stretch marks, scarring, you know, things like that. So yeah, hopefully, if I carry on using this day in, day out, it will slowly get rid of all of it. So let's just quickly apply this. I, to be honest, I don't know how much to apply. It comes in a bottle. I've got a bigger bottle as well. I've got two bottles of this. I normally just dab it on and I, I think I put too much on, but yeah, I'll show you. So I literally sit there and just dab it on, which yeah, you can tell it's a bit too much as it is. <laughs> so um, yeah, I dab it on, onto like my worst places. And I, honestly, I don't go easy. If you rub it in really hard, you'll start getting like, your body will go red because of obviously the pressure you put on it. But I feel like it is working. Like they used to be so much more clear of these white scars, and they seem to be going slowly. But they seem to be going. Like Millie used this back a couple of years ago. She told me she used this for something. I can't remember what she used it for. But um, she used it, and it got rid of it after about. I'm not going to lie to you. About two or three months, it took her uh, every day of putting it on to get rid of it. So yeah, hopefully. Within two months, maybe three, if it's longer, it's longer, as you can tell it's starting to go red. But I'm going to use this until these go away because oh, it's one of my insecurities, I think. One of the, all these white. Oh, I imagine taking your top off in, on holiday and you see all these white scars. It's just, it's not, it's not nice. It's not very appealing, you know. So there you go, guys. I've rubbed it in for about a minute maybe two and I just leave it on for the rest of the day so I tend to do it topless and keep it topless as much as possible because I don't want yeah um, because obviously I don't want it to uh, be stuck to any t-shirts but if I am going out I will do it and put a t-shirt over but yeah I try to do it when I'm at home I'm not going out and I should stay topless by the way here's Mill trying to use the mirror while I'm doing this so uh, yeah she's just about to go in which is actually really upsetting but I um, will also, a lot of my new viewers don't realise that I've got a lot of cats. And another reason I'm using bio, and I'm going to start using it here, is I was actually stopping my cat, because he was, he was being really silly like, the other day. One of them was being really silly, so I tried to stop him, and yeah. 
basically that happened <laughs> i've got a massive well it's not massive it's just a little a little gash across my stomach so that's gonna scar um i'm gonna have to start using bio oil on that as well um but yeah uh, i'm gonna have to get rid of that <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, like I said in the last video, I am planning on dyeing my hair a different colour for a video. So if you have any suggestion on a colour, let me know down in the comments below. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like if you did. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.